Oh, it's clothing. Clothing dresses. store. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what are some of your favorite memories of school? School in those early years. Oh, one of my favorite. I had a teacher by the name of Miss Heaton, who later became, I can't think of her name right, uh, Ron King's mother. Miss King, I guess. Okay. But, and anyhow, she was my kindergarten teacher. And when I entered kindergarten, I was so bashful and so scared and so nervous that she is the one that helped give me confidence to get through the year. And I told her that later on, after mm -hmm. long years later. I wanted her to know how much she'd helped me. I'm sure she appreciated that. What kinds of things do you recall that she did to help you gain confidence? Well, she would include me in the activities and not let me sit back and be bashful. Mm -hmm. She would try to encourage me, and she was really loving toward me. Mm -hmm. I guess that's probably the, you know, you're just six years old. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, I went to a country school in Nebraska for my kinder, while well, I was mm -hmm. probably five. And uh, then we moved to Shenandoah, so they put me back in kindergarten. Oh. So I was six when I was uh -huh. in kindergarten. Uh -huh. But it was probably good for me, uh -huh. really. Uh -huh. But I remember walking to that country school uh -huh. in the country. I, can you imagine remembering that? But I can. Oh, sure. I can. I remember well, I was too. just, you know, five or six. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How do you remember that far back? Well, we just do. <laughs> um, what kind of, um, what school did you go to here in town? Broad Street, Broad Street. and Central. And Central. I'd go to Broad one year, and then mother, Grandma and Mother said, oh, let's go to Central, because I lived right on the borderline, oh, uh -huh. on Sheridan Avenue, actually, uh -huh. close to it. So uh -huh. that's the reason I... I went back and forth, but it was good experience. Mm -hmm. And then my first grade teacher was Miss Fishball, who was mm -hmm. Mrs. Henshaw. And she taught me to read and to have phonics, and I told her that later on, that my kindergarten, my first grade teachers were the most outstanding teachers that I can remember them. And I told her that, too, because mm -hmm. she was a very nice teacher. Strict, let me tell you. You better <laughs> learn. But she was good. Mm -hmm. What kinds of subjects do you remember um, that you enjoyed? Oh, I liked English. Anything? English? English as, you know, ger uh, anything was writing and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I did not like math, but that's all right. <laughs> that was not my cup of tea, I'll tell you. <laughs> What about recess time? How did you, what kinds of games did you play? <coughs> what kinds of activities? Well, we used to have that old game. I don't know if we did it at uh, Annie Annie Over, mm -hmm. that kind of games. And we used to play hopscotch. I hadn't really thought about that for a while. And um, Ball, kitten ball, baseball. Mm -hmm. We'd have ball, play ball. Mm -hmm. That would batter up, you know, mm -hmm. and all those side yeah. things, batter out, don't, and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And what did you play in the summertime? Oh, Were a lot of the same. Same things. Mm -hmm. We used to play in my yard ball mm -hmm. with, and the whole neighborhood would be there. And, and what was the address that you, where you lived? At 12, or right, 400 West Lowell. That's years. behind, um, uh, you know, where uh, Claude Aid's shop used to be. You probably don't know no, that. I don't uh, do you, no, you don't even remember that. Oh, that was an old building, and he was had a garage. But we were. Uh, I want to tell you, it's behind uh, Sells Real Estate. Uh, Do you know where the monument shop is? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, well, uh -huh. it's right, right behind that. Right okay. behind that. Okay. Um, d and and most of the activities took place in your your yard. That yes, you my yard. Yeah. 
Uh -huh. I don't know why, but well. that's where all the children came. Uh -huh. They loved it. I guess because my mother wasn't too much of a housekeeper, uh -huh. and she just let us have a good time. Uh -huh. When I think back of that, uh -huh. yeah. And she wasn't too strict with us, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, had a lot of freedoms, kind of thing. Well, she just was good mother. Uh huh. Good. What What do you remember about the kinds of clothing that you wore in the thirties? Styles or. Um, mm. Not very pretty. <laughs> Not very pretty. I guess flat shoes and anklets. Uh -huh. And I don't remember wearing too many jeans, but I'll maybe I did. I bet not. I wore a lot of dresses. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, when I was in, um, I had to stop and think, probably fourth or fifth grade. In the grade school. Mm -hmm. I played the violin oh. and we had a music instructor by the name of Mr. Bergen that was excellent. So he pulled me out of the grade school at three o'clock and my mother would take me to the high school and I would play with the orchestra. Oh. And so I got to be in that orchestra from grade school clear through high school. Uh -huh. And we went to Omaha and won national contests. Oh. We had a lot of strings. Did you ever play on the radio? No, no? I didn't go radio. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought maybe they, they now, would ask the whole orchestra to oh, come The down. whole orchestra, oh, it was a beautiful. The uh -huh. annuals show us our picture, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. back in those years. Uh -huh. It was a wonderful experience. Sure really. it would be. Uh -huh. I got to sit clear in the back row, but that's <laughs> all right. And, and then I worked up, but it, uh -huh. that was, he wanted me to do that. Uh -huh. so. Do you still play? Not much. I play the piano more than I do that. Uh -huh. I like to play the piano, but uh -huh. I don't care about the violin yeah. anymore. Did you have any clothing that you just didn't wear except for Sunday or good that you kind of oh, kept yeah. back? Or mm -hmm. Do you recall? I remember Easter, little hats. We uh -huh. always had to wear a little hat on Easter. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't remember any of them. I remember not liking them some because my grandmother would buy them and I didn't like them. <laughs> They were just the wrong style for uh -huh. me. Yeah, I put up. Now with would it. this be a grandparent that lived in Nebraska? There or? was a grandparent that lived beside me for a oh, while. Uh -huh. She lived in that little house where there's a beauty shop right now, oh, right uh -huh. behind. Right uh -huh. behind. Uh, I'm trying to think of that realtor. At Orton. Orton. There uh -huh. you go. Uh -huh. uh, right behind him and in that little uh -huh. house. That's where she lived, and then I lived right behind it. There's two houses on, right on that there. corner. Uh -huh. yeah. So, uh, anyhow. Do you um, remember anything about the weather? Oh, it was so hot. Yes, I remember it. And that old house that we lived in had a cellar door. You remember the cellar uh -huh. doors? Well, maybe you don't, but... But I do. <laughs> okay. Well, anyhow, uh, it would be... You know, all we had at that time were fans, uh -huh. if we had that. And it was very hot. 1933 and 34 were very, very hot, humid years. Mm -hmm. So I slept on the cellar door with a blanket. <laughs> slept on the cellar door. We did that many times all summer. Mm -hmm. But because, you know, they slant down sure. and got a pillow and a blanket, and uh -huh. that's the way we did. Would but it was hot, very, very uh -huh. hot. Do you think that if you'd moved from Hagler, Nebraska, is in western Nebraska? Yes. Right? Yes. And so the humidity was a lot less there than here. You probably really noticed that when you came I here. I probably did, but, you know, I was six years old, and it... Uh -huh. I just didn't comprehend the uh, nature of climate, I mm -hmm. guess. I just mm -hmm. 
took it for granted, you know, how we do. Can you remember, besides fans, anything else that you might have done to stay cool? Um, no, but I remember we had to have a, we didn't even have a, I don't know, we had a box in the window for a refrigerator or a put ice in. I can't remember how that all hung together. We had that when we first moved. We had one of those old cook stoves, uh -huh. you know, kind that you put your cobs and mm -hmm. and your coal in. Mm -hmm. and mother would make fudge on that old stove. I don't know how she did I that. Don't know I don't know how she did that, but it would just be delicious. Mm -hmm. And then we'd sit, and for heat, we'd sit in front of that cell that oven door, open it up, and get the mm -hmm. stove burning. Then we'd sit there to keep warm. Sure. And then, of course, we had one in the living room that was uh, kind of that you put coal and cobs mm -hmm. in. But I remember waking up in the morning cold. <laughs> it was cold in that house because there wasn't any heat. Mm -hmm. Did you have an upstairs? No. No, it was just all one floor. I remember taking, uh, Dad would put bricks in the oven and wrap them in a towel and put them in the bed with us mm -hmm. to keep us warm. Well, it was a method. Those are, that's mm -hmm. really back. And that's even, even in that house, we didn't have electricity. Uh -huh. So we had the lamps and these mantel lamps. Have you ever seen those with the mantles? And, you, mm -hmm. and I, I remember you pumped them. Uh -huh. And then, then the kerosene lamp, the other kind, too. That was the first thing. I remember a man by the name of Bill Roten, who used to be a, his dad was a dentist, Dr. Roten in oh, Shenandoah, uh -huh. and they lived not far from us, but they had electricity. They just lived up the street, and he, this Bill was my age. he come down because he was just dumbfounded. He wanted to see those lamps. <laughs> I mean, he didn't, he didn't know that, so. <laughs> oh, I, so I wouldn't want to live back in those no, days. No. Um, a question that, that they suggested we ask you is changes that your family made because of the, of the depression, but one of yours would be to move. That yeah, you had see, to my move. grandfather used to be a doctor in Shenandoah. Then he moved to Nebraska, and while he had been in Shenandoah, he had bought some property. So when he passed away, and we left the farm because of all the cattle and mm -hmm. the depression, then he uh, he had bought this little house that we moved into. Oh, so that's how come that's the, what brought you back that's how back come we come to Shenandoah uh -huh. we needed a place mother and dad needed a place to live uh -huh. and uh, so I've been here since 33 uh -huh. that's a long time yeah. now it, as a carpenter then did your dad do what we call odd jobs or? well at first but he built houses in Shenandoah he uh -huh. was a contractor and so there are several houses in Shenandoah. And then my brother kind of grew up in that area uh -huh. and uh, would help him. Uh -huh. and Can I, you think of a house there, too, that he built here in town? Uh, yes. Oh, well, let me think of it. Uh, there's one up on Maple. I'd have to... Uh, uh -huh. I'd have to go and look at the numbers, but there's a couple on Maple he built. On the other uh, side? Clear up, on side, on way the south. Up, uh -huh. up on the top oh. there. So if my brother was here, he'd know everyone. Yeah, sure, sure. He helped with them. And, you know, he put on this, uh, he was one of the first ones to put on this siding that you have on houses, you know, permanent siding, not oh. the... Not the old-fashioned kind, the wooden uh -huh. kind, but the other kind. Like an aluminum? Or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he put one, put some of that on the house right across from where I'm living now. And it is perfect shape. Uh -huh. And it's been years. I mean, 
Oh, well. Huh. I don't know. Probably 40. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Yeah. I'll bet it's been more than 40. 40 or 50, 60. Yeah. What have uh, I been here? A long time. Yeah. 33. That's how many years. Yeah. Too many. Do you remember anything special that happened at Christmas? Or you yes. mentioned the hats at Easter. Um, at Christmas, we used to have a tree, and then we had candles, real candles. He had the candle holders. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is dangerous. <laughs> But we, he lit all those candles just, just maybe one Christmas night. Mm -hmm. he, and then he used to make me things. He made me uh, ironing boards and yeah. little houses, and and some of them I still have. But he made our toys. Mm -hmm. And then to buy a dozen of oranges was the biggest treat, and we'd put them we used to have these stockings, long stockings that come clear up to mm -hmm. the top, and we'd hang one of those stockings <laughs> on, and he'd put all those orange, well, not all, he got one dozen, and we divided them, uh -huh. and then he always shared his with uh -huh. us, because there were three of us, see, me, and my brother, uh -huh. and my sister. And is that about the only time you got oranges? Uh-huh, yeah. that's the only time uh -huh. I can remember even uh -huh. having an orange, and we fought over them, so. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, they were in that old, ugly stocking that we mm -hmm. hung up, but they always seemed to make our Christmas, even though there wasn't very many funds available. Mm -hmm. He made our Christmas good mm -hmm. by making things. Mm -hmm. Did your mom do any Mother was a or? crocheter. She mm -hmm. crocheted a lot. She crocheted apkins and, mm -hmm. and tablecloths mm -hmm. and played the, oh, our Christmas wonderful. She played the piano. Mm -hmm. And even after we'd gotten married, we brought our grandkids all down. But before, she played the piano. I would play the violin. And my uh, brother, oh, this kind of makes you cry. <laughs> we'd, we'd all sing, sing around the piano mm -hmm. and just have the most fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'd play, we'd do Christmas carols, and then we'd get to been doing crazy songs mm -hmm. and we just laughed and those were wonderful mm -hmm. memories. What kind of crazy songs can you think oh, of? Oh, we mother had a book, Little Brown Jug, and then we uh, sing that and go ha 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 and all that stuff, you know. <laughs> we really hammed it up. Yeah. But that was, those are great memories. Uh -huh. I mean, I just loved it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, memories are kind of hard sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Did you do anything special on birthdays? Oh, yes. Well, let's see. What did we do on birthdays? Just probably had a special meal. I can't uh -huh. remember. One, I can't remember any parties. Uh -huh. what, um, what kind of special meal might you have chosen? Oh, Mother... Uh, always like to fix a roast and I mm -hmm. still like roast mm -hmm. potatoes that's a favorite mm -hmm. and then she baked chocolate cakes once in a while and mm -hmm. I like that she yeah. wasn't much of a cook really but she did her best mm -hmm. she was raised by my by her parents and they were doctors and my grandmother was a pharmacist in those oh, really? days. Can you believe? Was she a pharmacist here in town? No, when? she did it before she come to uh -huh. Shen. But she was a pharmacist. She was. Uh, we have her certificate. Oh, gosh. And from Ringgold County. That's where they originated from. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'll see. I was going to say something about that. I forgot. Well, Annie, we were talking about the cooking and that your mother Oh, had. well, my grandmother was the one that was a wonderful cook, and she didn't let her little daughter do anything uh -huh. like cooking, or she spoiled her rotten, uh -huh. I think. And so when she married my father, who was a farmer, <laughs> she had lots to learn. Yes, I bet she did. But she did fine. Uh -huh. yeah. She did the best she could do. I mean, it's... It was a complete change of her life. She was raised in a, with a doctor and a wife and money mm -hmm. and all that, and then it was gone. 
Do you have any um, recollections of of either, well, the railroad um, bringing hobos in or uh, I remember. Any of I don't remember the railroad. Well, I think my dad used to go down by the railroad and pick up coal oh. to heat us. I remember uh -huh. that. That was the only thing. But I remember those uh, hobos coming. Uh -huh. And my dad was, he'd let them sit on our porch and he'd give them whatever we had, bread uh -huh. or something to eat. Uh -huh. But he'd always tell us, don't go close to them. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah. But we, yes, I Did they have to do any work for that bread or was it just? No, just he just wanted to feed them and get them out of there. Uh -huh. Okay. Quick as he could. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, did you ever, as a family, or uh, travel on the railroad to go from here, like to Omaha, or? Uh. Well, let's see. No, we as a family we didn't. Well, uh -huh. that was after I got married, and that uh -huh. all changed, you uh -huh. know. Sure. I married Andy Wright, uh -huh. Andrew, uh -huh. and he was a barber. Uh -huh in Chen for a long time. And did you have, do you have any recollections of the radio? Uh, yes, I loved the radio because my grandmother who lived next door had a radio and every Saturday night we'd go over and listen to the radio and listen to the National Barn Dance in oh. Chicago. That was our Saturday night outing. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's I'd forgotten that, but that's what we mm -hmm. did with radio until we finally got a radio. But that was real early, you know, mm -hmm. probably 35, 36. I don't mm -hmm. know when it was in some place in there. Sure. When I was just about 10. Uh-huh. Probably mm -hmm. that would be it. So the radio was our entertainment, and then this radio station down here, KMA, I'd come and watch the old fiddlers and uh -huh, all sure. entertainers. That was, I believe that was on a Saturday that we they'd have a program. This is the one that's been torn down. Uh -huh, you know, at I the can, Mayfair. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I can remember their country school. Uh -huh. That was uh, one of their programs. I remember that Earl May he would come in, he was the teacher, and he would come in, hang his coat on a nail, and it fell. <laughs> then everybody would laugh. So then he'd go back and pick it up and hang it up again, and then it fell. See, that was part of his comedy. Uh -huh. That was the way he introduced the show. Uh -huh. That was fun. Uh -huh. We have, in the museum, we have uh, some of those country school programs. Oh. Uh -huh. Be fun to do some yeah, again sometime. Would. Uh -huh. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be. Yeah. Anyhow, that was that was my entertainment. I guess. What would you say was a or more than one influence in your life because of those years of the depression years, and in what way did that affect you? Well, I think it. Uh, at the time, you know, that's all I knew. But as I got older, I began to think that those were years that we learned mm -hmm. to be conservative, and we learned we couldn't have everything. And but we learned life went on. <laughs> yeah, kind of that. Kind uh -huh. of makes you grow up a little, yeah. really. I guess what it would mm -hmm. do. Do you have any other memories that? You want to share that I haven't happened to ask that question? <laughs> well, I'm trying to think. Uh, I had a happy childhood, really, and I think that's important. Yes. For most everybody, because if they grow up better and mad at the world, that's mm -hmm. wrong. Yeah. And so my my childhood was we didn't have much, but we were happy, mm -hmm. and mother always was playing the piano and mm -hmm. and keeping us all up on top when I think about it. The more I think about her, at first, you know, I took her for granted, but the more you think about your mother, you you think she was a strong influence on your life mm -hmm, sure. more than you really think it would be. Mm -hmm. 
So. Okay, thank you. You bet. Mm -hmm.